thank you. Oh, Knight of Sticks. Thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now I'm thirsty. Well, you know, hydration is important. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to do a cast draft because this thing has been pretty fun. And it's better than not doing a cast draft. So, you know, if you have the option to do that or not that, then uh, just do that. Sometimes life is about silence and hearing to your local catwalker. I have no idea what any of that means. Not going to say it's inaccurate, but I, I sure don't know what it means. I do like Artful Takedown. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm probably just going to take the Artful Takedown. Sometimes life is about not knowing what any of these mean. <laughs> All right, now we're on the... Yeah, that's good. Now we're talking. Yeah, I'm just taking the Artful Takedown. Billy, what's going on, my dude? Good seeing you. Remember when you didn't want to do these? Yeah, I do actually. It was weird. I was like, I was against them, and then I was like, oh, these are actually pretty darn good. Uh, return an instant sorcerer or creature from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, that card's pretty good. Considering we have artful takedown, we can just artful takedown and then possess Scob. <laughs> that's a, that's a good clip. That's a classic. That, is a classic. Yeah, so like your your description of the grind right now where you're like, um, was that 882? Long story short, is the top 1,000 MTG rank players get into the qualifier for the big tourney? I'm grinding fell below last night. Yeah, like, I mean, exactly what you're talking about right now is why I have no interest whatsoever in trying to be like top eight and, and qualify for this mythic championship. Like, I mean, like at the cost of my, my actual... Just trying to make your camera. You get life builds toughness. Yeah, that's pretty good. Sever Soul seems great here. That's an uncommon, so I feel good about it. Like I'm getting some kind of a. Yeah, I'm okay with these first three picks. What's going on, Morgan? Yeah, these picks are um. Pretty spicy as far as the as the Demir Guild would would go, whatever that means. I really want to find whoever approved white borders and ask them what they were thinking. Wow, that's really tame. Hey, excuse me, white border uh, originator, progenitor. Hmm. What were you? What exactly were you thinking when you created these? Just out of uh, curiosity. Oh man. Discards a card, then puts a card, puts the top card of the library into the graveyard. Yeah, that's yeah. I want to fight them. That's well. That's the thing you could do, I guess. That is your. That is your. Uh, if we can get an artifact that costs six or greater, if we can work on a worm coil engine, this is a cool card to have. Steel sabotage is also decent. I think I just want the treasure mage. I, I think I mean, draw surper is fine. Like it's, it's a three three for four, but I think I like the upside of treasure mage better, especially if we can get like, even if we get something dirtily like a Phyrexian Hulk. Wow, two of you guys for Draw Surper? Man. 
Reeve Soul's all right. Two two mana. I like it. I do. I might like Pristine Talisman a little better though. I, I kind of like that for our control deck. Balagad Scorpion is also a card that was fantastic in this in the uh, Rise of Eldrazi limited format. I think it's just pristine talisman i'm a big pristine talisman get hulk that'll show him uh, will it though will that show them yeah i like this better than reef soul i think the upside is higher oh douse and gloom all right writ into being like the top two guys you're like manifest one put the other on the top of the bottom library it's actually decent you get a 2-2 two -two out of it and you get to like it's kind of like a 2-2 two -two with like scry like a Dowson Gloom? It's probably just Dowson Gloom, right? I'm just going to take the Dowson Gloom. This deck looks great so far. Exhumer Thrall. Uh, when Exhumer Thrall is return target creature from your graveyard to your hand? Yeah, sure. This is just a six mana Grave Digger. And then you get another Grave Digger after that. What does this idiot do? When it blocks, you return it to its owner's hand. If you do, you put the creature card from your hand on the battlefield, blocking that creature. So I'm basically just swapping it out with something else. Now I'm just going to take Exhumer Thrall. Thank you. Are we still... Urk, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. I know that's not the first time you've subbed. Mono removal with Hulk as a finisher. We don't have Hulk yet, though. We can't get, we can't get our Phyrexian Hulk unless someone passes it to us. Knew it. Shield of the Avatar. If a source to deal damage to a equipped creature, prevent X of that damage, or X is the number of creatures you control. Five mana for four, three, it gets flying. That's not terrible. Yep, yeah, mill seven. Oh, Will Forged Golem. I'm, this is just a four, four. I mean, like, we could probably play this for, for four mana with some creatures, and Treasure Mage can get it, so Treasure Mage automatically makes this cost, like, five. That's gas. Oh, my God, literally, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious oh my god dark blade agent as long as you've surveilled that's pretty rough because there's probably not going to be a lot of surveil cards considering this is literally the only pack that will ever have them so i think it's just thought erasure here Yeah, Thought Erasure seems great here. Our deck seems nuts. Send to sleep. Tap up two creatures. They don't untap. Actually, that seems great. I mean, usually, like, tap two creatures is not exciting, but, like, Spell Mastery seems pretty easy to get for us, and uh, it's kind of just... It's almost like regular sleep, but for two mana. Yeah, I'm going to take Send to sleep. 1-1 one, one Swamp Walker or Flight. Let's go with Flight. <laughs> oh. Good times. Steel Sabotage came back? That's nice. I was tempted to take that last time anyway. Now I don't have to choose. Balagan Scorpion? That's playable. Oh, man. Like, we got everything that we even considered coming back. That's pretty good. Sometimes you just have it all. Yeah, well. We did not get the writ, writ into being, I guess. Is that what it's called? I don't even know. Goblin Trenches. Oh, we got the we got a good pack here. Send your autocrat. Make three serfs, and then when he dies, so do the serfs. Deep analysis seems great. 
Gravedigger seems great. Innocent Blood. If we just have Exhumer Thrall and Gravedigger, do we just get to... Oh, this guy gets exiled, and so does this guy. Like, all our good creatures get exiled. <laughs> I feel like it is Gravedigger. Deep Analysis is great and all, but... I'm a Gravedigger fan. Yeah, I want to go with the Gravedigger. Ooh, Essence Drain? Alright, well... I like Sign and Blood, too, but Essence Drain is... Pretty solid. We can just kill everything, right? Deals three damage to any target and gain three life. It's just literally five mana lightning helix. Which is still good, just to be clear. I could also see taking like unsummon or sign in blood, but I could yeah, I could definitely see unsummon and sign in blood wheeling, so I'm not really super concerned with those. Night Terrors... Ghoul Razor? Oh, man. <laughs> Gravedigger.deck over here. I feel like it has to be Ghoul Razor. Like, Possessed Scob is a zombie. Uh, Gravedigger is a zombie. We could just loop our, our Gravediggers and our Ghoul Razors. How many how many six-mana artifacts do you think will have? I'm going to say... I'm going to say two. Yeah, Scob exiles itself. I was more referring to, like, if it goes to the graveyard. Some other way. Oh, if it, if it would die. Yeah, if it would die. Right. I'm saying, like, if it's if it's just, like, if you'd have to discard it or something. I think I still think it's Ghoul Razor just because... I think Sensory Deprivation could come back. I kind of just like this for the memes, though. Returning a zombie. So we have just Gravedigger, and that's pretty much it that can come back. But we can also find other zombies. That's not really a... So, exile a creature you control other than this, a 3-4 flyer for 3, and then when it comes... Yeah, that's actually... Actually, this would be gas if you, like, exile your Gravedigger. This actually seems great. Because we can actually exile Possessed Scob, and then it's not dying, and then we can just return it when this dies. Or same thing with the Zoomer Thrall. Oh, wow, Wormfang Drake seems great here. Well, that's exciting. Oh, yeah, Wormfang Drake is definitely the pick here. Can we splash chastise? I mean, I don't think we really. Our, our removal suite's already pretty good, pretty good. And these are kind of like ter secondary removal. And then we got Balagad Scorpion. Street Wraith. Oh, we're, here's, a, here's a mirror enforcer. <laughs> I'm going to take this Arant Ephemeron, though. That guy is uh, pretty insane. Ephemeron is pretty nuts. We also don't have that many two drops. Greetings from LA. Keep your eyes peeled for some new draft boy subscription stage. Just promoted my visit up to the thread and told everyone they missed where you. Man, I miss you guys. I was going to ask if this is real, then I realized that you can't fake that amount. Wow. Wow. But no, you're right. That's true. That's factual. When I'm like, creature is a graveyard, this is just a weird enchantment. This whole set was super weird. Like, they can just play into it and be like, oh, the second return two creatures to your hand, access only your digger upkeep. It's actually not terrible. Bouncing two guys and having a 2 2 flyer is pretty sweet. My body is ready for some 15 hours. Yeah, that's 15 hours is going to be so long, dude. Kirkland Signatures, thank you so much for the for the, for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Summer Mirror is good. I think Augur is a little better. Frogmite. Seed of the Tell... Seed of the Synod. <laughs> Seed of the Tell Jihad. What was I thinking there? Where did I see... Oh, I was looking at this guy. I was like, Seed of the Tell Jihad. No, that's not how that works. 
Cobalt Golem gains flying. Two, three, four, four is all right. Oh, unattaching equipment. Yeah, that's... Whenever this attack... Whenever this artifact... Okay, that's not... Where's Bobby Butters? Bobby Butters is at work today. <laughs> God, he's so weird sometimes. Yeah, I think Cobalt Golem is fine. Thank you. Wall of Frost actually seems pretty good. Who cares? Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Always a pleasure, my friend. What kind of dumb nerd stuff is going on here? I couldn't... I could neither confirm nor deny the, the type of nerd stuff that's happening. What about Wall of Frost? Is Wall of Frost better than Rewind? We can get Rewind back with Possessed Scob. We can get Wall of Frost back with Gravedigger. DC Sports, do you, do you mean do you mean Rewind? I think you mean Rewind. I think Rewind is probably better, but we don't actually have that many creatures. Actually, we do. I'll take the Rewind. Screeching Scob. Send your Autocrat came back? That's weird. I guess it's not weird. Thank you. M. Corton, thank you so much for this up. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I do. I'm just holding an unwind in my hand right now. Like you do. Uh, put the top two cards of your library in your graveyard. I don't want to do that. See, this is a reason where we could be like, oh, now I can get my Possessed Scob back. I'm just going to take this Autocrat. Unsummon did come back. That's pretty cool. I don't know if Harbor Serpent's where we want to be. I think we're fine with just taking Unsummon here. Night Terrors is nice. What's a zombie? Oh, the scob? Yeah, you're right. We have 11 creatures. That's more than I actually expected us to have. Yeah, this deck seems great. The Worm Fang Newt came back. I saw a land. I don't care about that, though. Do you just want Mental Note? Maybe? I don't think we care about either of these packs. Or these cards, rather. I really don't want to play a Worm Fang Newt on turn two and exile my second. The Mirror Enforcer came back. Man, I wish the Seed of the Sin... I wish we... Maybe we took the Seed of the Sin out. That'd be good. What do we take instead of that? Nothing memorable, clearly. Was it Cobalt Golem? No, because this was a uh, Master's Pack. So it actually could have been anything. Oh, we took the Rand Ephemeron? Yeah, that's not even close then. That's not really a... Chase the Nine Skuller Pack 3, let's do it. Although our 4-drop spot is a little heavy. We got, we got, we're got we a little, a little clogged on the 4-drops here. I would like some 2-drops and 3-drops here. I think Mirror Enforcer might be playable. With Pristine Talisman, Cobalt Golem, Treasure Mage... Just a 4-4. Four, four. We can also put Flight on it. <sighs> sure. Mental note was created by our boy Bradley. <laughs> That's gas, dude. Oh, solid throwback. <laughs> oh, I can't even handle it. Six counters. It can't attack unless the main player turns an island. So, I mean, I don't really, I'm not in the business of like removing counters to make islands here. I feel like I kind of just want this Mutavolt. Destroy a creature that was dealt damage this turn. This card's actually pretty good too. Good old Muto Toots. Merfolk and wizard spells cost one less. Is this a wizard? Oh, it is a wizard. It's probably the only wizard. Oh, a bird wizard. A wizard, if you will. You probably won't, and that's okay. I accept that. I'll just take the Mutavolt. I don't think any, any cards in that pack are really standing out to me, so. having Being able to supplement our mana base with creatures is always a 
a rewarding thing that you do. You're a blizzard, Larry. No, that's not correct. Uh, four, 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 seven with cycling. This is also some solid art by Tony Scaludo. Scaludo. Okay, so if you're the teacher and you have Tony in your class and you have to say this last name, like, do you just quit on the spot? Do you just turn? Do you just turn? Do you just leave? Uh, two one. It is a zombie. When it's turn face up, destroy. It. Yeah, that's gas. Yeah, we're just taking the skin thinner here, and it's a zombie. So ghoul razor. Scrap heap scrounger? Hmm. Interesting. I think it's funny we could have ceremonious rejection and uh, steel sabotage. Minister of inquiries don't care about it. We're not milling anybody. We're never going to see a second self assembler, literally. Tony S, my man. How are you? <laughs> oh. I think it's just Scrounger here. Counter target spell unless it's control phase six. This is just two mana leaks stapled and stapled together. Target creature gets neg four, neg two, so it's basically a reverse artful takedown, but you can't tap a dude as well. Demir Guildgate could be very good. I'm actually just tempted to take the Guildgate here. I think we're actually good on removal, like by a sizable margin. I think I like to have the gate, especially if we have a meat vault in our deck. Mardu Skull Hunter, Energy Battle for Tapped. Target opponent discards a card. I'm pretty much okay with that. Like, there's really nothing else here. We're not going to be able to activate this. Singing Bell Strike is kind of good. Two eight. We could also we could take the two eight zombie as just a big fat idiot. I actually kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like the thick zombie. Just having more zombies is good because you do have the ghoul razor. So we do have to make a cut. I'm looking. I'm leaning towards this two three. I like this 2-3 because it could just, like, wreck them. <laughs> yeah, the 2-8 does block the 6-7 uh, the all day. Living Lore, as it enters Battlefield, Exxon, Instant Sorcerer from your graveyard. <laughs> Grandpa Bata, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. Happy Snow Day from sunny Arizona. It is uh, sunny here as well, so we are in good, we are in good, good shape. Uh, it's power and toughness equals the exiled cards converted mana cost. So we could like exile this. It's a four four, and then whenever it deals combat damage, we could just sacrifice it to rewind again. This is actually tempting. We do have a good amount of things to. Shut up and take my money. What does this guy do? Enter the battlefield. Return an online permanent. Actually, this seems great. Good call, DC. Good good call. One still mad bug. <laughs> Being able to return a non-land permanent, which we can like return Gravedigger, we can return the Possessed Scob, return Exhumer Thrall, return Balagid Scorpion if we need to kill something, return Ghoul, yeah, okay. You sold me, return Treasure Mage even? Man, oh man. A different sign in blood. Hmm. Hmm. Probably better than Demon's Horn, but... Yeah, that seems gas.
Our deck has infinite value. Wow, look at this pack. Holy smokes. Drifting Shade is a 1-1 one -one flyer for 4. With It's just Shade. Deathmark seems great for the sideboard. I don't care about Dark Favor or Smallpox. Ring Flesh is cool, but I think I'd just rather have Deathmark. I mean, if we come up against a, against a Bane Slayer or something, I feel like dealing with that nonsense. We also have 15 creatures, which is kind of surprising. I could see cutting Mirror Enforcer, but I do like having two artifacts for for Treasure Mage. But I don't think we want two seven drops. Like if we, I don't want to draw. I don't really want to draw them. So, uh, Goblin Rogue. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may look at the top card of your library if it shows a creature type with squeaking, squeaking pie grub fellows. You may reveal it if you. Yeah, that's never going to happen. We're just going to take this the banneret. This card is just a zombie. It's not like a zombie wizard because, like, it's obviously doing experiments, right? Or maybe it was experimented on. Hmm. Hmm. Vile Deacon, whenever Vile Deacon attacks, it gets plus X, plus X, X, number of clerics on the battlefield, so none. Okay. So it's going to get plus one, plus one, so it attacks as a 3 3. And you're just a human. Okay, well, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'll take Ceremonious Rejection, sure. All scobs are made by mad stitchers. Get that. Get a load of that magic lore you're getting here. Me too. Me too. This is a. I, I think this is our deck. What do we need to make one cut though? Our sideboard actually seems pretty good. We have night terrors in case we need to hit something. We have virulent plague, death mark, um, both ceremonious rejection and steel sabotage. Maybe it's just unsummon. <laughs> pick it up! Pick it up! Pick it up! <laughs> Oh my god, that's the most scoffing you probably could have said there. I think it's either send to sleep or unsummon. These are the two I'm leaning towards. This is basically a three drop. Yeah, I think it's probably I think send to sleep is probably worse than unsummon. And we got a Mutavolt and a Demir Guildgate. Man, our deck looks sweet. Let's go eight seven. I'm okay with that. This deck looks great. Statue seems to win more. I mean, it's a 3-4 for 4, right? Like, it's not like we're, like, playing an off-curve an off, an off -curve creature. Like, what are we going to play instead? Like, a 2-3? Like, it's, it's still just a 3-4. I mean, almost every one of our creatures has an entrance battlefield ability. I'm going to keep it. We got a Mute Vault. Any black source. We're all right. Hand's not great, but... It's getting close to work nap time? What does that mean? Like, taking a nap at work? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice. Okay, so we have to get rid of it. That is correct. Do you remember that time I drew lands in a reasonable time frame? Same. This is a lot of pressure on the board. I'm not really, I'm not really feeling it. But D Dowson Gloom does handle it quite well if we hit a black source. So there's going to be a guild gate on the top, guys. I just want you to be ready for that. A black source next turn would be actually gas because we can go uh, Dowson Gloom into Rotting Mastodon. Oh, a Suture Priest, eh? Okay. I steal the cushions off a nearby couch and make a tiny bed in my office. That sounds gas, dude. Huh. 
I mean, we could just activate Mutal Vault, play Worm, Worm Fang Drake. Get a 3 4 out of it. The problem is, if we do hit a Black Source next turn, we can't play this guy, but we still can play Dallison Gloom. So here I am, doing everything I can. God, don't kill it. If you kill it in response, it's just such a blowout. Like, they have to have a one mana. They have to shock. Like, they have to have actual shock. Well. Okay. Seems good. I like this. <laughs> now I have Superman by Goldfinger stuck in my head, Chris. I really want to, I, I blame you for this. It's not like you sang that song particularly, but still. Was that just a two for one? Or a one for one? One for, yeah, that's fine. That's great. I'm a fan. And we got our land back. It's all coming up Millhouse, guys. Okay, well, uh, are you serious? Five islands? Come on. That's not even real. Every time that you have a Ska or Punk related problem in your life, apparently it's my fault. I mean, it's, it is. I really don't have any other uh, ska or punk related influences in my life that regularly. I mean, <laughs> that's the impression that I get. Have you ever been close to tragedy? Been close to something bad? No! Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may pay one if you do create a gobo. Okay. That card was good. It was good in the prowess deck in uh, Shadows over Mor Morling, Morning, Morling Tide. Oh, we did it! Oh... Dear God. But now what do I do? I have so many options. I kind of want to Thought Erasure them just to see what they have. We could Rotting Mastodon here. We could also Dowsing Gloom just get rid of Suture Priest. I think I just want to get the Mastodon down. I don't love Suture Priest on the board, but... I feel like it's the best use of mana, obviously. And we get Aranta Ephemeron. <laughs> Welcome, and it's Richard Garfield. I'm playing how he wanted us to play. <laughs> Riddle of Lightning. Oh god, what if it's three mana? What if it's three lands on the top? Come on. Come on. Three lands on the top. Thank you. Come on. Come on. It was not. It was a Sarah Angel, guys. It was a Sarah Angel. Jesus. Kirkland Prime Choice. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. How many Kirklands are there? There's a Kirkland and a Kirkland Prime Choice? What's even happening? Kirkland Signature? That was the other... I can't tell if these are memes or not. I have no idea what's going on. Alright, let's cast this dude. Alright, well, I'm going to get rid of this now because I don't feel like wasting a million more life. Alright, I'm at a point where I just have to 
get aggressive. We also have a. Uh, I will 100% block it by Mutavolt. Mutavolt's uh, outlived its usefulness, and against a deck with Red Z's in it. If they play Sir Angel here, we get to unsummon and then Thought Erasure it. That's pretty gas. You guys ready for the gas? Boop! Oh! Wow, this is strong, dude. Do I just keep this on top? Yeah, I do. It's a 4-4, right? Yeah, that's great. Uh, you don't have that anymore. I got the feeling the Kirkland gang might be draft boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's hilarious, dude. That's actually hilarious. Wow. Jesus. Yeah, so they're dead on board. And they don't have any blue for the Sifter they electrolyze, and it really is Fury ain't gonna do it, so. Oh my god, dude. Oh, God. Oh, this is... They're going to really as Fury this thing, and we're going to re rewind it back to the Stone Age. <clears throat> so, deck performed as it should have. I kind of want to bring in the Virulin play, because they're making 1-1s, one -ones, so... Destroy a green or white creature with uh, Sarah Angel in the deck? Alright, I'm game. What are your thoughts on Gizzards? Oh man, I saw your post on this the other day. It's not good, man. It's not good. I don't like any weird bit, weird meat bits, though. That's my problem. So I don't, I'm not a big weird meat bit fan. I eat so little meat as it is, I really gotta prioritize the, the quality meats from the, the weird weird meats also Balagate Scorpion seems like it's great here um, I feel like Gizzards of the Coast uh, Aurelius Fury pre-release was insane that card was really hyped up and then it never really saw much play which is really interesting because the card does seem good also Rotting Mastodon that dude's OP I need one cut. Shut up and take my money. One weird meat bit bug. <laughs> oh, I, I feel like I like to think that Kerr just has a jar of one dollar bills next to him, and every time he he makes a a one dollar donation, he throws he throws one away. I don't want to take down. Maybe Augraven. Yeah, I could see getting Augraven. What noise does a gizzard work in a while in the wild? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. What? Oh, God, I'm just going to stop talking. I'm going to keep this hand. Again, hand is good if we can hit one blue source, run, draw. I think it's a decent. One time. Okay, that's... Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Now we're definitely bringing in Virulent Plague. They're doing some shenanigans here. Help me hack into the mainframe? Buddy, I will always help you help hack into the mainframe. What kind of a friend would I be if I, if I didn't help another friend hack into the mainframe? If I didn't help my friend hack the planet, what kind of a friend am I? Whoa, Thought Erasure OP. Aurelius Fury, Gilded Ceridon. Five minute for a 4-4. Four -four. You control a desert... So that's just that's just straight worse than this. And but I can kill I can kill both of these. Whereas Aurelia's Fury doesn't really do much against us. 
I think we can actually just take Sarah Angel. Or really, it's Fury I don't care about. It deals three to something. It's whatever. We'll just take the Sarah. I will keep that on top, actually. Brandon, what's going on, my dude? Okay, so what did you play? You played a mountain. So we know the three cards in your hand. Seems good. How do I clip on the phone? I have no idea, actually. Oh my god, Kerwit literally just showed me an image of his, his couch cushions. <laughs> Kerwit, can I show that image on stream? The Kirkland gang, oh my god, please don't call yourselves that. Or do, you know, what do I know? I'm not your dad. Is this guy coming down next turn? Dang it, two turns. This is the image Kermit just sent me from from work. <laughs> it's like, here's some couch cushions. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little nap in my office. And then, then there's us, so. Good stuff. Um, I think I just want to artful take down this. We know you got rid of this, got rid of this. I think you have... Oh, you have Fury in hand. I actually closed Fury instead. We don't have anything to play on our turn right now. I'm actually going to pass here. And... Uh, yeah, that's fine. So now we can now we can artful take down both these guys, and we're just taking less damage now. I guess we could just play rotting mastodon too. But then they attack it, and then they really is fury it for three. That doesn't do it though. Okay. Well, I also don't mind taking four here. I'll definitely block here and take one more. <clears throat> oh, interesting. Interesting. So Aurelius Fury deals X, right? So I'll block here. Sure. Okay, so that was just four damage to the face. Four damage to my face. Sign and blood. Man, Essence Drain seems good here. Our whole deck seems insane. That's super rude. Why would you do that? It's okay. I'll never let you go if I'm wrong. Our hand is such gas. Jesus. What do you guys... I've never had beef cheeks, but typically meat that comes from a muscle that's used often is very flavorful. A more common example is beef brisket. Brando, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Nine months in a row. Congrats on our sub, baby. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ancestral statue bouncing gravedigger. Mm, seems all right. We, I think we're at a point where we can just sign and blood ourselves. I want to hit a land drop here because of Varanta Femeron. Yep, so now we can play Statue, bounce a Grave Digger, and this is kind of like a combo, right? Return Grave Digger. Seems good. I 
I feel like our value is just really un unbeatable here. And then we'll just suspend. No, not suspend. Just cast. Just play it. With a grave digger, a known grave digger in hand. Everything I can. I mean, I'm a Superman. No zombies? Well, if that gravedigger dies. I could actually just kill this guy and attack for a million here. We'll do it next turn. I don't want them to have like a pump spell and then have a block against our guy and I mostly just eat Z flesh. What does that even mean? Uh, or you can just bounce this guy as well. Let's just bounce it for now. Oh my god. A braid? Buddy, I got a grave digger. Let me tell you about my grave. People, let me tell you about my grave digger. never ends wow what a loop my dude what a loop don't there we go oh my god four a lands four lands and a ceridon oof Brutal. However, that being the case, our deck is still bonkers, guys. Absolutely bonkers. People, let me tell you about my best friend. Until the end. God, what is the what are these hands? God, I'm gonna keep it again because if we just hit that stupid. Swamp, it's good. What are these hands, man? Well. Yeah, I actually love bees. Bees are fantastic. That's cringe. That's super cringe. Wow, not even a fourth land so I can cast Rewind. Well, double black spell. Away you go. Oh yeah, against the against the Plains Forest deck? Probably going to bring in Deathmark. Oh, there you go. Alright, so we'll take three more. We'll Rewind. We'll Essence Drain whatever they, whatever they cast. What is this you're doing? No. God, what's all these token decks, too? Like, we could actually... Virulent Plague is, like, killing it here.
Oh my god. I'm just done. <laughs> I'm absolutely done, dude. Oh, the, the clue token would get negative two, negative two. That's a good point. Death mark can come in. What about like one of these two? What about like not ceremony restriction, but what about like steel sabotage? That might be better than unsummon. Maybe not better, but like if we're countering a six six instead, that seems pretty decent. Dece, if you will. It's true. Their six pin artifact is better than ours. Not only does it have an extra point of power and toughness, it is also a trampoly boy. And that's the saddest fact of them all. <laughs> oh, good times. <sighs> there we go. Oh, this is it. This is what this is what we're talking about here. And we're on the play, so we can even sign in blood. I'm game. Sign in blood into talisman. It's like it's like we didn't even take damage from it. Beautiful. But don't you want to wait to sign in blood until you can kill them with it and then use it like a shock? I mean, kind of. Yes. It's okay. We'll just get possessed scob, and then we'll get it back that way. Oh, I'm thinking of playing some standard dragons, actually, because I haven't actually updated that deck list since uh, Skargan Hellkite, I think that's what it's called. Came out, so. And gain a life. Would you like to go to the next step? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Oh, we could play this guy? No, we're just going to play Mastodon. Watch, we're going to draw the 6-drop. You ready? We're going to draw the artifact. God, being able to just draw a card from this guy is just gas. Yeah, that's fine. <gasps> we didn't draw it. Get back Sign of Blood. Shoot. Uh, one, two, three. And we can, can we convoke here? No, we're one shy, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're one shy. Yeah, I hate that it comes up. I'm like, yeah, well, I just want to gain the life, man. Can we just, can we just not add the mana? Can I just gain the life here? Can't be blocked except by walls and creatures with flying. All right, well, I don't have any of those things, so that is unfortunate. This is a wall. No, yes, it is a wall. It is technically a wall. Oh well, that's a thing. One, two, three, four, five. We can't actually sign in blood here. I mean, we could just scob, and then next turn, Warm Fang Drake the scob. Can I block like walls or creatures are flying? If only we had some creature with flying that could actually block this. There's got to be some something we can do, right? I don't know, guys. I think we want to scob and then Warm Fang, Warm Fang Drake, though. Just for the value. I don't think they're going to be able to kill this guy. Unfortunately, both of these guys have two power, so it's... No blocks. If you activate Muta Vault, you would have had an extra creature to tap. You know, some reason I don't feel like that's accurate. <laughs> it's not like yeah, actually it's funny because you don't even break even. It's not like it's it's not like you're using one mana, but then you're getting two creatures out of it. So you break even essentially. You actually just lose the mana that way. Oh, an island walker. Okay. I see you literally just you just played the perfect deck against us here. Okay. I understand. I mean, Pristine Talisman's pretty helpful, though. 
I do want to hit another. Oh my god, are you for real right now? One, two, three. Warm Fang. Oh my god. Our deck is such gas, dude. Our deck is so insane. Just tap it all the way around. <laughs> Just go all the way around. Make a full make the full uh, the full circle. This is a nightmare, Drake, just in case you guys didn't know. I knew. Does, <laughs> how often does Mutavolt get, get to Convoke? You only think of yourself. That's fair. That's fair. Mutavolt probably doesn't get to Convoke all that often. Which is kind of unfortunate. I can't even handle it with this deck. This deck is very good. Oh god, they're going to play something we can't beat now. Okay, we can beat that. I have a 2-8, buddy. Do you know what a 2-8 does? Oh my god, we can play this, bounce this, scob back the... Oh my god. We should have attacked first. I was so concerned... This value. I don't even care about attacking. Oh my god. I should have just attacked. I didn't even attack. I'm like, I don't even care about attacking. This is unbelievable, man. This is the best deck I've ever drafted. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought this was a Great Sable Stag for a second, and I was like, are you serious? You have Bull Hippo, Great Sable Stag, and Elven Riders? People, let me tell you about my best friend. Bounce this guy. We still don't have a second blue yet? This is very strange. I don't think we care about this guy anymore. We just need to start getting some getting some damages in. Some damages in. So I'd like to keep up Artful. One, two, three, four. That leaves us one, two, three, four, five. We can actually pay three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play Willforge Golem. And still keep up Takedown. Doesn't seem great though. I don't think we really need to do anything here. We have multiple cards to play. Also, if they kill this, we get back this, we get back Sign and Blood, then we can Exhumer Thrall to get back the Wormfang Drake. I'm trying to figure out. We have Death Mark, I guess. Uh, Earthful Takedown's probably better against the... Yeah, it's fine. Um, Let's tap this big guy, too. Tap you, kill you. One, two, three, four... Uh, yeah, that's fine. No one cares about that. Oh my god, I love that. Hey, yeah, man, sorry, my deck is terrible. It's it's so bad. I apologize in advance. Buddy? Oh, they're gonna block with this guy just to get their card. I'm not gonna give it to you though. Yeah, that's never never happening. Look at all these things you're blocking with. I'll just get get rid of the three three. Oh, uh, this is a better three. Uh, this is actually a better three three because if you have a way to get it back. So 
Uh, I guess we're just hard casting a rant if I'm wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our deck just never runs out of things. So that's kind of cool. Three, four. Oh, that guy has flash, buddy. Don't you know about the flash? He's a DC superhero, you see. That doesn't kill anything right now. Golem. Let's return a zombie, right? I have to return a random zombo. Yeah, I just don't feel like having this guy mess with my plans. A second blue would be great. I have no idea what the mana issues are with this deck, but they are real for sure. I mean, matches we don't get mana screwed have been... Uh, Muy, muy bueno. Oh, we just win that game. That sounds good. I can understand why you'd, when you'd scoop after Possessed Scob has returned three cards with my graveyard. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I mean, mana's all right. Yeah, I'm fine with this. We haven't seen our gate. What's the deal? Oh my god, keep it. Snap, keep it. And they went to six. Oh boy. I saw a swamp and an island. I'm in. I'm in. I guess it's F2. No, it's actually just four now, right? Is it four? What's the button that I can just skip? Yeah, all right, fine. <laughs> hey, at least I can cast the skin thinner. I mean, I'll I'll be all right. I'll deal with the skin thinner if I if I draw it. And we got the second black. It's perfect. Can't lose. Confirmed can't lose. Play an artifact. Or a green-white creature. Or a creature with power one or less. Okay, that's really unimpressive. That's... <laughs> Instead, they just played a creature that I don't care about at all. I don't want to use any of these on you. I'll just take two for like a million years. I love and Swamp Guildgate Meat Vault then. Yeah, that's good. Just give me just curse me to draw six lands in a row. Preach. One, two, three, talisman. So this guy deals one damage now that I have a pristine talisman? Sure. Oh man. Deathmark does kill police cop. <laughs> what is the which one floats? What was it called? Did I call it police cop? Was that not the not the mistake I made? But what did we actually call it? Was it police cop? Because that's hilarious. I came here from Standard Dragons. When is this happening? I actually don't know. After this, after this chaos draft, we'll do some draggies. I just don't. I don't have any reason to do anything here. All right, take it easy. I 
Oh my god, play Partic Wanderer. What is this idiot? Target creature blocks it if able. When it deals combat damage, you tap that creature doesn't tap. I don't know what. We have a Balakid Scorpion in our hand? Oh my god, dude. This is just criminal. I just get to eat your creature. It's just literally a shriek. <laughs> oh, our deck is so good. I feel like we're just going through the motions here. Yep, that guy's dead. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't really feel like uh, playing a Rant Ephemera. I'd rather keep it with Steel Sabotage because if they just play Partic Wander, it's hard to deal with. And we're not in any rush. Like, we're definitely not in any rush here. Sure. I ever, I ever tell you about the weirdest pickup line that I saw actually work handed I don't think so <laughs> oh my god it involved dragons just so you know oh god I forgot to gain my life god I'm so bad at this game hmm I guess we should play Rand Femron, right? Like, if they play the stupid idiot, I just don't have a real efficient way to deal with it. Like, I guess we can do this and block it. I guess that's fine, right? Meanwhile, we have Exumer Thrall to get this guy back and still keep up Sabotage, so we're only, like, giving them one window. I see. That's just juvenile. You're just a child. Trapped in an adult's body, I imagine. Wormfang Drake. Oh, that's pretty alright. Just mono removal spells in our deck. I'll just essence drain this guy. One, two, three, four, five. And also, you know, gain four life because of that, so. I've been watching you long enough to know. I'm delighted you had a name for it and love how every time you say police cop, something nags in the back of your brain. Because I'm not quite sure it was police cop. But no, whatever it was. Yes, it's true. There was a there was a Talon Trooper meme. And I totally forgot what it was called, but it might have been called that. Oh, God. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We have one card. Do I have a way to bounce this guy? Guy walks up to a girl wearing a toothless t-shirt from How to Train Your Dragon. A solid franchise, by the way. Get, goes, so do you like dragons? Girl goes, yeah. Cool, because I'll be dra <laughs> Oh, God. Yep, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. It might have been Hawk Cop. I can't remember. Police Hawk, maybe? I think it was Police Hawk. But I'm not sure. I forgot who else was in on the meme, too. Or if I could just ask them, I could be like, hey, man, what did we call Talon Trooper? Okay, they didn't play anything. God, this... Is, oh, my God. Please. <laughs> One, two, three, four... Oh my god, guys. Let's talk about Ancestral Statue and how it's definitely not a win more card. That's the story we're talking about today. I don't even know, man. I lost faith in romance for a bit after that. I would too. But I also wouldn't call that romance, to be fair. What is this you're doing? Oh, a little flashy boy? Okay. I accept. No blocks. 
I don't have any creatures that can block that guy, so it's not really a surprise. So one, two, three, four, five. We can actually just play this, hit a land. Oh my god. This is just so much value. We didn't hit a land, but we did have Wormfang Drake and a Possessed Scob. This is just too many cards. Oh god. <laughs> what do? I really don't want to discard anything. Boy, this is awkward. Alright, so we're just gonna... Can't play that either. Good lord. I guess it's Wormfang Drake on Ancestral Statue. Two, three. And then we keep two up. We can just go one, two, three. And then we'll actually suspend a Rant Ephemeron. Yeah, that seems fine. Really surprised we didn't hit a land there. I mean, I would like to... See, when this guy comes back, the idea is that we'll have Possessed Scob in play by that point, so... On the Scorpion for the Dragon? What does that even mean? I mean, for the... It's not going to kill a spider. Yeah, this is fine. Block. Double block you. No beats. Is that a David Cross skit right there? <laughs> oh, alright. So you just double. You just killed us. Oh, now we get to bounce this guy so it doesn't even die? Sure. That's actually great. That was actually awesome. <laughs> no harm done. Land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Seven. Seven manners. Our hand is really clogged with things that I wish I had ways to play. <sighs> hey, man. Yes, nine nine women. If they wanna, if they wanna f on a pile of trash. But that one time, maybe one of them says yes. Uh, we can actually just play Thrall and get back the Wormfang Drake, which is a lot of value. Still keep up. We'll have to discard something. I, well, like, we're not in a position to play Scob here. But this guy also blocks a lot of things, so. Yep. Get, oh, actually, we're just getting Wormfang Drake back, so we actually have to discard two things. Jesus, this is actually just miserable, guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be blocking here. Is this an 18 land deck? <laughs> Should we just have 18 lands here? All right, well, let's get rid of Scorpion, and I like Douse because it does kill this guy and it's cheaper. And. Brutal. Just brutal. Our opponent's like, is it really that hard? It's still Sabotage can go. I don't know. We're like holding this in case we're afraid of the stupid 6-6. Six, six. It's just, it makes no sense. Uh, okay. Block here, take five, I guess. I think I'm fine with that. That was a, an immediate cracking of the clues. For a 2-2? Two -two? Sure. All right, I think land. Oh my god, why, why don't we have lands? This is unbelievable, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can actually just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can't even go Scob into Dowson Gloom. I mean, we can get Deathmark back and kill. I'm just going to kill this guy to get rid of it because it's getting obnoxious. One, two, three, four, five. But then we just have no. <sighs> this is actually frustrating. 
I guess we can Wormfang Drake on the Exumerthrall. That's actually pretty good. One, two, three. And then we get to keep up lots of things. I don't think I ever said I didn't want to draw lands. You just made that up. Oh, their attacks are pretty bad here, and we do have a rewind now, which means we can rewind and then douse and gloom. We can actually rewind whatever they play, block here, douse and gloom it. That seems great. I just don't care. <laughs> I'm just not going to waste a rewind on nothing. All right, sure. Artful takedown I will, however, use. Um, target creature tap. Neg four, one, two, three, four. I'm just, we just have to start using things. We also have Possessed Scob, and I want to get good things back and not like a steel sabotage back. One land, one time. Thank you. Prefer a black so that I can cast a double black spell, but I, I accept. Four, five, six, seven, eight mana, so we can play a four drop and keep this up. We don't actually have a four drop. Play Scob, and we're just going to keep Rewind up forever. We have no reason to take down the Rewind shields here. I mean, if they want to crack into our... In for two, and then we can deal four, I'm okay with that. Oh boy. Yeah, that's fine. Come at me, bro. Bro, come at me. And this also deals one because of the pristine talisman, so. I'm really tempted to see what that last card is. It could be a land, but it might not be a land. Oh, is it not a land? Oh my god. Are we going to get rewarded? Oh, we're getting so rewarded here. No, dude. <laughs> That's not cool. Don't be trying to don't be trying to dead dead of the debtless me. Alright, well now we get put no land, 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 land so we can get scob back. Or we can scob and then get back the the rewind. Okay, well that's fine, I guess. One Two, three, four, five. Scob. Get rewind. It gives them a one turn window. Okay. They don't get any windows whatsoever, I guess. Yeah, our deck is insane. I feel like the only games we lost is because we just didn't play anything and we just had no uh no responses, so. What's a dock list? This last list is, uh, this last match is, uh, 
taking a bit of time here. <laughs> oh, that's a good command. The old DN command. That's a classic. Everyone's like, nah, I ain't getting in the queue. I've seen what this black blue deck can do. I feel like I can't actually draft any more chaos drafts anymore after this because this is like the peak, like we've peaked here and it's all just downhill after that. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. You get to draw a card. No fear, nothing to lose. Why do I have this Creed song stuck in my head? Because someone said Doc, you said Doc List. And yeah, there's a Creed song with the word. It's My Own Prison. The My Own Prison song has Docket in it. And so that's what's in my head now. And that's really the, the, the course that we took. We all have expensive cards in our deck. We do have cheap cards in our deck too. Sure. Old scroungy boy. <laughs> That's nailed it. Pernicious dude. Yes, that is it. Oh, God. Smoke spew invoker. Target creature gets... Wow, it's only just a last gasp on a stick when you get to eight mana, huh? It's pretty good. If we can hit a fourth land, I'm just all right. That's I accept that. Oh, New Vegas is easily my favorite Fallout. It's not even close. New Vegas is the one Fallout that I want to play over and over and over. And the reason is, like, there's actually quite a few paths I did not take. Um, and that just leads me to the reason that I love the game is because there are so many paths you can take. Creed was my first ever concert. I was in high school. That's not bad. I mean, Creed was... There was a time where, like, Creed was at the top of the world. Fallout New Vegas is is fantastic. It's unbelievably good. Mm, this guy. It's a little bird. Oh, that card's... Yep, that card's busted. Well, now I'm just going to bounce the things you put the counters on. Okay, well, I guess I can't bounce at all. Yep, that's good. That is good. Wait. Oh, it's two other creatures. Oh, that's pretty great. All right, so we'll just take four. We'll bounce both these guys. That tempo is insane right there, right? Like, that's nuts. So you get to play one thing next turn. Yeah, so we're just gonna attack.
Which one floats? Thank you so much for the continuing the gifted sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Really appreciate all the police hawk love. I also haven't completed Fallout 4. And the reason I haven't completed Fallout 4 is because I just... I do this with games where I'll get to the end. The end content. Like, the end game. And I just don't want it to end. So I'm just like, I don't want to, like, finish it, finish it. I don't feel like I'm ready to finish it. I don't know if that's a common thing or not. But I've heard more than one person do that. Where you're just like... You get to the end of a thing and then you just... Meh. Meh. Okay, we can't have double blue. Because that's too much to ask. This card's like I don't like this, but this card seems really busted. They are two turns away, so we don't have to do anything yet. I've heard, I used to hear people say all the time that 3 was better than New Vegas. I don't hear that much anymore, which is interesting. 4, 5, 6. We just play this guy, right? Like, because they can't even deal with it efficiently. We're going to take a hit from this guy, go to 11, but I guess that's fine. We have Essence Drain. I really don't want to kill this guy yet. I feel like this actual Treasure Mage trades, trading with any of these guys is totally fine. Do we play a land this turn? Yes, okay. This is costs eight mana and they have six, so. I mean, once they hit seven mana, we can actually worry about this guy, but. Okay, now we're gonna worry about this guy. We're probably just gonna kill it next turn because like this is dangerous, but this card is demoralizing. Stinkweed Imp. Oh, God, that's obnoxious as well. Welp. <sighs> it's pretty brutal. Literally the one turn. I mean, they could have put this on anything else, I guess, but... Wow, that's insane. And of course, I mean, if we had rewind, we would have rewound last turn, but. Is this still lethal? Seven damage, we go to eight. And if they hit a planes. Oh, man. Yeah, this is fine. Because, I mean, like, if they had a planes, we, they would have had lethal on board. But now they don't have lethal on board. I mean, if they have a removal spell for this rotting mastodon, and if they... They're in, they're in top tech mode, though. We could also hit, like... God, what can we hit? Our options are actually kind of limited here. We can get rid of the Willforged Golem out of the graveyard. Because if we actually hit Gravedigger, we can go Gravedigger, Aven Augur, and have a blocker. No, they would just kill it. Nah, yeah, it's pretty rough. Still Willforged Golem. Why would a Swamp kill us? God, it's always non-black creature. Three, four, five, one, two, three. So this is eight mana, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven. How did they miss lethal? Wow. 
What are you talking about? <laughs> you're totally wrong right now. Just to be clear, you're totally wrong. Yeah, I think we're just dead here. This isn't this is neg three, neg three. This doesn't pump anything. Uh, death mark seems good enough. Skin thinner seems rough. <laughs> Wrong invoker. It happens. Sometimes. There's like 30 invokers in magic. It definitely happens. Um, the deck actually seems very good too. I'd be surprised if we could beat it, but I'm surprised if we can beat most things. Just because magic is hard. I was texting my buddy at work, my work buddy, and was mentioning someone talking about taking a nap at work and how we should have those too. So we should totally have our schedules to include work. Faps. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's... Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Woo. Our deck seems good. I'm just going to submit like this. I don't even care. I don't even care. This is what I get. All right. Nice, nice heavy hand. Nice expensive hand. I'll keep it. Bottom you. Hmm. Oh, wow, that was a good draw. Court is in session. All right, well, our two five drops are very, very good. This is only a Creed singing stream. What did I sing other than Creed? I know I sang Creed right there. What else was there? Should have been dead on a Sunday morning. This Sever Soul is pretty bad against the double black creatures here. This is where they go, the 3-3 three, three support guy, 3-2 support guy, and then they just attack us for 5. Alternatively, they don't they miss a land drop, they don't have any plays, and then we just blow them out completely. Huh?
It's actually kind of awkward because we don't have a five drop. I guess we'll get rid of Sever Soul here. I don't want to get rid of a creature. Wow, that's great. Well, that was a hit, all right. So if this guy dies, then we have Gravedigger still. All right, well. Yes, use that ability. <laughs> I accept. Legion Lieutenant. I mean, that is just a 2-2 two -two for 2, but... If you think swimming with the dolphins is expensive, swimming with the sharks cost me an arm and a leg. Oh dear God, Badger, what are you doing, man? Where do you, what? How do you have this like? You have to be googling these, right? Like, there's no way you just know all these dad jokes, right? It's gonna be land. That's pretty good too. All right. Look at all this card advantage we're getting. It was fantastic. Sever Soul still doesn't have a counter, so. Years and years of collecting and memorizing dad jokes. Is this like, this is their, they're like, I need to land real bad here, so. That's fine, you can have your land. Neon Tokyo Rain, what's going on, my dude? Long time no see. And by long time, I mean, you know, it's been a little bit. It's been a few days. virulent swipe so it's just a that doesn't yeah that's not a that's still a two for two right like we lost that's a two for three right they lost these two and this and we lost these two yeah that's totally fine pretty sure it's just golem here they can just pump the rat i'm fine with it Especially after all those extra hours I put in. Oh my god. Okay, we got it. It's exiled. That's sad. <sighs> yep, no blocks. That card's great. Great. Although it's less so unlimited because I imagine they can't have any, they can't have that many spells that they're gonna cast on our turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe just essence drain this though. It does float. 
Grave Deer can get back Scorpion, but that's not super impressive right now. And if we hit one more land, we can just go Grave Digger, Scorpion, kill this guy, which I like. Terrell, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Ugh, welcome. What did they get back? Dream Spoiler Witches? Sure, that's fine. And Reassembling Skeleton. That seems obnoxious. Where's our good stuff? Come on, good stuff. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is actually great. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is fine. Like, that plays real magic and not hard. I mean, I play both, to be honest. Like, I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's get back Balagid Scorpion, for obvious reasons. The loop is real. Into life, sure. Can't attack or block. That's my god. Let me draw. Let me draw this. The, the oh my god. If we can draw ancient statue, ancestral statue, bounce this guy, get the grave digger back, get treasure mage back. Unsummon would do the trick. So if we unsummon it, Gravedigger comes back, gets back Treasure Mage. We can't do anything else though, so we might as well just wait. <laughs> That's all well and good, I said, but until you fix it, I'm not buying the car. Bone splinters. Oh, that's actually great because that gives us a much better target for um for the gravedigger now. See, this is why we waited. Let's get back Gollum. Who's been a, a pretty pivotal part of this deck. God, the value train that our deck is our deck is just mono value. Do we have oh no. Oh, but this if this guy dies, we just get oh that's so good. One, two, three, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Bone splinters are not bad. Would view again. Here I can we can we can make that happen. Look at that. Look at that weird ass vulture human. It's like a centaur but with a bird instead of a human. Instead of a horse, not a human. You guys know what I'm saying. Oh, we can't do both, can we? I think it's probably just better to play this guy then, right? Because we're one shy. 
please make smaller things. It's an Avon? But why does it have human arms and legs? It has no wings. I guess it might have wings. You know what? Nothing about it is okay. That's really what the point. One, two, three, four. Dang it. I'm just going to play six drop here. I'm going to overpay for it as well, just so you guys know. I don't care about my mana. Because all Avon have human arms and legs? None of this is okay. Oh, what up, bird? Look at that thing and tell me there's a god. <laughs> uh, oh. One, two, three. Oh, we're one shy of actually doing that, dude. All right, well. Man, this Ballygut Scorpion trades with everything. Got it. You want a dredge? They did not want to dredge. Do they want to dredge? Dredge is only going to get you so far, my dude. Yeah, I was thinking of actually, I was I, I realized that I could just attack with Gravedigger afterwards, and I'm like, we could just ghoul razor that dude Thank back. You. Hodge Gulashi, welcome back. Nine months in a row. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. You are the best. My buddy JR. Oh boy. Oh, that'll do. All right. <laughs> That seems good. This deck seemed very, very good. Oh, we're not done yet? Oh, that was only game... That was game two because we lost game one? Yeah, that's stupid. Whatever. Man, I was all ready to end. I thought we were done. Magic's hard. I mean, our deck is so grindy. Like, I feel like if we just get into a situation like that, we can just outvalue pretty much anything that ever existed in the game of Magic the Gathering. Deck is still good. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. It doesn't invalidate that. I was just ready to be done. <laughs> he kept saying be positive. That's going to be hard to do without him. <laughs> Oh god, it's so bad that it's funny. Slam those like and subscribe. Oh no, we were done. Yeah, this hand's a keeper. Once I see all these lands and this talisman that's going to gain us life, I'm just like, usually over the course of a game, you're going to get like seven life from a talisman. That is if you don't die. This is awkward because it's like the one situation where you can't sign a blood on turn two, but we also are on the draw, so I don't really want to sign a blood on turn two because then we just have to discard. Every game, every game this Dire Fleet Hoarder. I, I was hoping for a Douse and Gloom, to be honest. But now I don't know if I Talisman or I Douse and Gloom. Hmm, these are the questions. These are the questions that we ask ourselves. Uh, 
Rock and roll ain't not. What is this thing? Talk of Vanguard. Oh, it's just for the end of the turn. Okay, cool. Yeah, now we're just gonna douse and gloom this guy. Because then we can get it back. So we're saving two instead of. I mean, it doesn't. It gives us our turn four play is just gonna be this. So that's fine. There are two fish swimming around in the tank, and one said, you man the gun, I'll drive. <laughs> oh, God. God, I hope you don't have a trick. This doesn't feel like a draft form where you have a ton of combat tricks, though, you know? Yeah, it's fine. I got lands for days, my dude. Give me a two drops that I can that I can actually play. They didn't, but that's okay. Possess Scop getting back Douse and Gloom is pretty nice. I hope they missed the Mute Vault. I really hope they missed Mute Vault. Oh my god. Is this real? There's no way they have to have a removal spell, which is fine, because then we get to possess Scob, and they didn't really do much this turn, right? Do they have a pump spell for their ravenous rants? Like if that, that seems so that seems so fine for us, because we still get to untap, have five lands, we get to go back up to twenty and play possess Scob to get the Dowsing Gloom back. Sandblast. Fascinating. You can put the mana from Talisman into Meta Vault so you don't get mana burn. Solid strategy, my dude. Solid strategy, my dude. Rock and roll. Did you guys know rock and roll ain't, ain't noise pollution? I mean, trading a Mutavolt for a Sandblast. Sandblast is like a pretty insane removal spell. Okay, now they have nothing, so I'm just going to take two. We have way more tricks with Possessed Scob, like Wormfang Newt or Drake or whatever the hell that card is. And um, Ancestral, the other thing. I don't know any of the names of those cards. But if we can draw one of those now, even that's actually pretty okay. That's hilariously good. unsummon this get the unsummon back at the very least what a loop right there man that's also a loop yeah i'm not gonna block this guy this guy deals essentially one once we have Pristine, Pristine Talisman on board, so it's like not that threatening. Bro, I got Douse in Gloom. Sometimes you just play Ghoul Razor here, but I think we actually do just play. Nah, nah I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep on summon up. If they want to deal us three, that's fine. You know what is noise pollution? You two f that band. Wow, that's aggressive. Bloodseeker, sure. This is so aggressive. 
No, okay, just the rat, huh? All right. Waiting for a big payoff card here. That's a good one. That's pretty good. Uh, tap a dude. Negative four. One, two, three, four. I don't want to kill this because I just feel like they're going to get a land and a clue and it's not going to be good for us. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Gas. Such gas. <laughs> you gain no life. You waste all your premier removal spells. We get to possess Scob again. Oh my god. That's it! <laughs> like, alright, that'll do. Oh my god. Our deck was insane. What would we have drawn? Just an island? Oh, there's a Wormfang Drake to get rid of this guy. Oh, that's insane. Wow. If you guys are watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you so much. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out. And uh, you can also check me out on Twitch and Patreon. The links are in the description below. You can also check out meandies.com slash franklapore. You get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And they're super comfortable. So if you need underwear or like a onesie, if you've been if you've been thinking like, hey, I could really use a onesie in my life, check out meandies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off and it's a great deal. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time.